Let's go over the C3, C4, and CAM plants within photosynthesis. C3 plants describe a majority of land plants that carry out photosynthesis. They call these plants C3 plants because the first molecule created within photosynthesis is a three carbon molecule. And again, these C3 plants occur in most environments. You can see within the Calvin cycle of C3 plants, carbon dioxide is taken in and you're not gonna be able to see it, but the first molecule here that's produced is a three carbon molecule. C4 plants are a little different. They call them C4 plants because the first molecule within this process is a four carbon molecule. One big difference between C3 and C4 plants is that C4 plants is going to use a different enzyme. And this enzyme's name is PEP carboxylase, or PEP case for short. PEP carboxylase can't use oxygen, which is a big problem when talking about photorespiration. I won't dive deep into photorespiration here, but basically there's a problem within C3 plants where Rubisco is going to take up oxygen instead of CO2. C4 plants will usually live in hotter environments. And they evolved this PEP carboxylase in order not to go through photorespiration. Now C4 plants will use more energy to go through photosynthesis, but that's better than them going through photorespiration, which is very bad. So you can see in our C4 plants, there's going to be a four carbon molecule that's produced first. And then that four carbon molecule is going to produce CO2, which then goes in the Calvin cycle. Here's another way of looking at it. You can see the PEP carboxylase, which is going to make that four carbon molecule, which is why it's called C4. CO2 will be produced when malate is converted into pyruvate, and that CO2 will go into the Calvin cycle. But basically, this process protects the plant from going through photorespiration. And lastly, we have CAM plants. These plants, again, will live in hot and dry environments, and they will only open their stomata at night. During night, they'll take in as much CO2 as they can. They'll take the CO2 and produce a four carbon molecule that will be eventually made into glucose during the day. So again, you can see that the plant will only allow the CO2 in during the night, which means it will only open its stomata during the night. It will take that CO2 and produce a C4 molecule, and that C4 will then produce molecules that will go into the Calvin cycle and produce glucose.